Welcome to SpineView Incorporated Surgeon Training Video for the use of the Inspire Surgical Discectomy System. This device is designed to perform a one-step complete discectomy and decortication, including contralateral side, in much less time than when done manually. The Inspire system comes unassembled in a sterile peel pack, which includes the discectomy devices and one travel limiter. Here is the Spine View Inspire Surgical Discectomy System. Proximally located on the device handle are the power enable switch, trigger, and the 17cc tissue collection chamber. Distally, there are three depth marker bands indicating a device depth of 45, 30, and 15 millimeters, respectively. This is the impeller mechanism that transports tissue through the lumen of the shaft into the collection chamber. Lastly, at the distal tip is the business end of the Inspire device, the deployable wire with cutter which simultaneously cuts and grinds the targeted disc tissue and end plate cartilage. The Inspire device is designed to side cut rather than forward cut. Notice how the cutter only sweeps laterally while activated and therefore cannot inadvertently injure tissue beyond the device tip. The sweep diameter is 10 millimeters, which accommodates most discs over 6 millimeters high. The wire is flexible, so the cutter dynamically conforms to the shape of the disc space. Before using the Inspire system, join the Inspire device with the travel limiter by placing the Inspire tip through the opening and moving the tip to the end of the travel limiter foot. When pulling back on the Inspire device, the shoulder should strike the travel limiter foot, preventing the device from inadvertently slipping out of the disc space. The surgeon first views the disc space under AP Fluoro to ensure the disc is a minimum of 6 millimeters high and therefore meets the size requirement of the Inspire device application. The retractor has been positioned to perform a mini open transforaminal inner body fusion or T-lift, but any other lumbar inner body fusion may be performed. When ready to perform the discectomy, the surgeon starts by creating a channel into the disc. Ensure the power enable switch is in the off position and inserts the straight inspired device and travel limiter assembly down to the disc, such that the travel limiter rests on the outside of the annulus across the annulotomy. Prior to activating the inspired device, please remember three important technique do's and don'ts when using the device. Stay parallel to the end plates. Don't angle into the end plates. Move the device tip in slow circular motions, not in and out or side to side. Keep the device moving. Don't stay in one place as you may risk damaging the end plate bone. The enable switch is turned on and the trigger is pulled to activate the device. The tip is moved in a slow circular motion in order to uniformly morselate the nucleus. Here is a cross-sectional view of the ipsilateral annulotomy. Notice the slow circular motion of the device tip and the sound the device makes. The sound becomes a clacking noise as evidence of decortication and should be heard over the entire surface of both end plates to ensure decortication is complete. If the clacking sound is not heard uniformly over the surface of both end plates, the surface should be re-swept. The device is designed to morselate nuclear tissue and end plate cartilage, but it is not mechanically robust enough to morselate the outer annulus. Notice the collection chamber starting to fill with morselated disc tissue and end plate cartilage. This circular motion gradually expands as the device tip has more room to move within the disc space and the discectomy becomes more complete. Ultimately, as less and less of the ipsilateral disc remains, the surgeon will want to sweep the inner surface of the annulus to ensure the target inner annulus and all adjacent flaps of tissue are removed. Although excessive force should be avoided, applying light pressure while sweeping the inner annulus, the surgeon may feel slightly more resistance than in the nucleus. For instructional purposes, here is a demonstration of the surgeon sweeping the inner annulus under live AP fluoro. Suction is used to remove any remaining morselated disc tissue. The pen field helps confirm the discectomy and decortication is fully accomplished. Notice how the pen field follows the contours of the prepared end plates. 
The same process is repeated on the contralateral side using the curb device. Activate device and begin morselating the nucleus and moving the tip in a slow, circular motion. Listen for the clacking sound as confirmation of decortication. Then select a new site to treat and so on until the entire surface has been decorticated. Again, if the clacking sound is not heard uniformly over the surface of both end plates, the surface should be reswept. As the discectomy progresses, the collection chamber fills with nuclear tissue and end plate cartilage. Suction may be used to further remove morselated tissue not collected by the Inspire. When only remnants of the contralateral disc remain, the surgeon will want to sweep the inner surface of the annulus to ensure all adjacent flaps of tissue are removed and the inner annular walls are smooth. Observe the surgeon sweeping the contralateral inner annulus under live AP fluoro. Visual, audible, and tactile clues demonstrate the discectomy is complete. The open field visually confirms that the discectomy is complete, while the clacking noise and tactile feedback ensure complete decortication. If desired, the finely morselated tissue can be easily removed from the collection chamber prior to device disposal. Once completed, the surgeon then performs the inner body fusion and the remainder of the surgery in the standard fashion. The Inspire surgical discectomy device is a single-use device and should be disposed of in a biohazard bin post-operatively. Please dispose instrument according to local regulations. In summary, the SpineView Inspire provides one-step discectomy and decortication. It provides a more complete discectomy, including contralateral side. It allows discectomy decortication in substantially less time. The Inspire requires fewer instrument passes, while providing power, control, and efficiency. And it's disposable, untethered, and cost-effective. Contact your SpineView representative to evaluate the Inspire discectomy device.